Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. In today's video, I am so excited. I'm going to be filming the new Beauty Killer 2 release from Jeffree Star. I got this big box in the mail a few days ago. Now, I've been kind of MIA on here. Um, my husband has been in the hospital for the past 10 days. He's been really, really sick. Um, he's been, this is like the fifth time in five or six months that he's been hospitalized. I'll leave the video down below like where I explain what he has going on but this time it was very very bad and it was very scary and he was not getting better for quite a while there. So um, I'm going to pick him up today and so I wanted to get ready because I really have not like sat down and got ready since he got sick which was like a week and a half ago. So anyway, I have got on my moisturizer um, and then I do have on like a little lip balm. And the only other thing I have on is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And we are going to go ahead and get in with this collection. So whenever you open this box up, this is what it looks like here. It says Beauty Killer 2. I do not have the Beauty Killer 1 palette. I don't think I even have any of the palettes that are like in that size. You also have this little card here. Sometimes I keep these, sometimes I don't. Um, but this is what the Beauty Killer palette looks like. Now, when you order from Jeffree Star directly, everything comes like in super cute packaging. A lot of the times I will try to save this tissue paper because I think it's just so pretty. But I did pick up the Ice Crusher like highlighter palette. I picked up the Beauty Killer 2 eyeshadow palette. And then one of the things that I was most excited about is this mirror here. I, I get ready with a handheld mirror every single day. I am a huge like true crime fan. I love Kendall Ray. I love Bailey Sarian. I love Stephanie Harlow. And I just, I don't know. I absolutely loved this mirror. I knew if I didn't get anything else, I would be getting a mirror. There were two different colors of the mirrors in the collection. You could either get this like metal one or there was also like a pink metal one. That one was cute as well, but it wasn't offered in like the bundle. This bundle that I got retails for $95. Separately, the mirror is 30 the eyeshadow palette is 45 and then the highlighter palette is 40 so you are saving $20 if you pick up this bundle they also have a bundle with just the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter palette and that is $70 so you're saving $15 if you buy that bundle so it's just you know what you're trying to pick up from this collection but it definitely does save you money if you pick it up in a bundle there is even like a little hatchet on the sticker. He pays so much attention to detail. Like I absolutely love his packaging. I think he is probably one of the very best in the business as term in terms of like ideas and packaging and things like that. Him and Manny MUA with Lunar Beauty, both of those I absolutely love the aesthetics and the packaging but the quality matches it as well, which is like the kicker. And that's what makes it so, so nice. Okay, so this was like a little bit of a bitch to get into, but here is the mirror here. It's actually like got a little bit of weight to it, like not so much where it's like heavy, but it does have some weight to it. It is like a cold like metal. So I think that that's interesting as well. This is not sharp at all. It does like look sharp, I will say, but it is not, it's not sharp at all. There is the mirror there. And you do have the Jeffree Star logo here. This, the quality feels so nice. I can definitely see my whole entire face in this mirror. And yeah, I think I'm going to get a ton of use out of this. Next up, let's go ahead and get into the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to try to save this tissue paper, like I said. Okay, so here is what the actual outer packaging looks like on this palette. Here, 
so freaking cute. Like it's not too much, you know what I mean? But it still fit, fits the aesthetics of his brand so much. Just like how pink and cute and just beautiful it is. Here is the palette here. I absolutely love this. Beauty Killer 2. This is raised. So you can like feel this when you run your hands over the packaging. So freaking cute. You have got little like hatchets up here. And then here is the color story. So not like a ton of different like options, I feel like. Um, and I feel like immediately looking at this, it can be kind of intimidating, I think, with this color selection, even for me, somebody that regularly, you know, does their makeup. But I will say I saw where he used this as like a blush. Um, this could kind of be used as like a bronzer slash contour shade. You could do a very like neutral look with this. But I think... I'm either going to stick with this shade or this shade. I don't know. But I'm going to give you guys some swatches really quick. Before I give the swatches, I just want you guys to see the impressions in this palette. So you've got, you know, the classic Jeffree Star. Star. <laughs> and then you've got the little addition of the hatchets in this one. So you've got Guillotine Dream, Blow Up Doll, Soul Sucker, Self Expression, Redemption, Respect, Under Oath, Indica Bling, Rebirth, and Death Row. So here are the first ones. Now, there is nothing on my hand here. No primer. This is just going down. Ooh, that is such a unique color. It's like a gray, but with like gold reflect. Do you see that? So pretty. And there is that like bubblegum pink. There is a matte with shimmer in it. And as you can tell, this does show up and that will show up on your eyes. That is the shade Soul Sucker. And it looks like a black with like purple and blue shimmers in there, as you can tell. And then you have got this like chartreuse color here. Very interesting shade. All right, here are our next shades. That is like a gorgeous dark, dark blue. This one is kind of more of like my skin tone. That'd be like a beautiful like blending out type shade. There's the one that I said you could use as kind of like a bronzer. And then here is like a periwinkle type of purple. And then our last two shades. There is a gorgeous color there. And then there is the shade Death Row. I might even try to use both of those, honestly, because I feel like this has got a little bit of like a green to it as well. It's like a gray gold green. I don't know. It's such, a, such an interesting shade. I love these two shades specifically from this palette. This purple is gorgeous as well. And like I said, I think you could use these two on the face, which is what I'm going to try to do today. Okay, so I have you guys pulled in a little bit closer now. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with this under oath shade. I think that just makes the most sense. That's probably the color that I would like most likely always start this out with that or like this pink. I think mixing those pinks and purples obviously would be beautiful. So I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush as usual. Oh my god. You see how pigmented this is? All right, so I'm just going to kind of blend this out. These blend so easily though. I absolutely love the Jeffree Star formula, but I will say sometimes I can make like a little bit of a mess. So I do like to always, you know, kind of do my eyes first when I am using a Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. And I do that and I have no issues. I absolutely love this shade. I think if you are anywhere close to my skin tone, this makes like a really good uh, just transition, transition type of crease shade. 
And next up, I'm going to go in with more of like a flat shader type brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Rebirth. That's that kind of darker green type of a shade. And I am just going to pack this all on the outer corner. Um, and I'm going to kind of bring this in. I think this shade is so beautiful. And this is the shade completely dry. Now you guys will have to forgive my skin. Honestly, it's never looking like perfect, but I feel like it's so much worse right now from like being in the hospital and, you know, they still are, you know, having you wear the mask and everything. So yeah. Um, I'm so happy that we are going home today. I cannot wait to like not have to go into a hospital <laughs> been going every single day and staying there basically from the time I can until you know they're like kicking you out essentially so okay so I'm just packing this on and then kind of flicking it towards the middle just to kind of blend that now I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Guillotine Dream. This is the one that like sold me on this palette. I saw this shade and I was like, yes, need that. Um, I absolutely love shades like this. Anything like greeny, grungy. I love like orangish browns as well, which you saw this palette has as well. All right, now I'm gonna take this little tiny fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna go back into this under oath shade, which is right here. And I'm just gonna kind of look down. Somehow I got some purple right there. I have no clue how I picked up the purple, but that happened. This palette has got a very nice, like, usable mirror in it as well. Like I said, I love, I love all of the aesthetics of Jeffree Star. I love the little details that he puts in. All right, I'm going back into my little shader brush, and I'm going into this guillotine dream, and I'm just going to carve out really this front part of my eye. Just going to make sure that... I don't have that crease shade right there. Okay. So I think that that is going to be it in terms of the eyelids. I think, you know, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's not like the best, but. And in fact, I think I am going to pack a little bit more of that darker green on and kind of blend the two shades together just so there's like a more even fade yeah i think that that looks a little bit better there i'm going to do the other eye do my base and then we'll be back all right guys i am back i have on my base i put on the avant avant however you say that this is the pro collagen is the Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer to Chaclat. So this is a really good primer. It's very pricey. I would never, ever, ever pay full price for that. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown. This is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. It has SPF 15 in here. I do really like this foundation. It is a little bit more um, lighter coverage than I am comfortable with. So I definitely, definitely have to conceal with this one. But um, I do have mine in the shade zero C024, which is ivory. And it is like a pretty perfect match for me. Um, I did use the concealer from Bobbi Brown as well. This is not my favorite concealer. This is the Instant Full Coverage Concealer. And I don't like the applicator with this. I think the tube is way too skinny. I feel like you don't get enough product on the wand. You have to constantly keep going back in, which is super annoying. 
but this one is very like moisturizing i have mine in the shade cool sand it is like a nice peachy like corrector even type tone so i do love the tone of this one um i just i don't know i wish the packaging was different and then I have the Bobbi Brown Sheer like Pressed Powder as well. I have mine in the shade Pale Yellow. I do really love this for setting all over my face. It's such a thin, like, it is such a thin powder. It's not drying at all. It sets everything down really nicely. But yeah, I have been loving this powder. All right, now that we are all caught up, let's go ahead and jump back into the Beauty Killer Palette. So next up, I'm going to try to bronze and I'm going to attempt to use this shade here. I have no clue how this is going to work. This could be awful, but I'm going to go in with just the normal brush that I use. It actually fits in this pan very nicely and I just dipped in literally like once. So let's see if this will blend out actually not looking too bad it's a little bit dark for me I feel like and you can see how freaking pigmented that powder is again I am just going to like tap into that and I'm going to do my temples up here now I don't have my brows done I honestly like always do my brows last just because I put whatever highlighter I'm wearing I always put that up on my brow bone all right I'm gonna go back in I'm like actually pretty happy with the fact that that brush can go in there so easily I love how big those pans are so that you can use these powders on your face if you want to so it's really gonna end up lasting you a really long time and this, if you are my skin tone, I feel like this actually looks really good as like a bronzer slash contour type shade. I'm surprised how good that that is working. So this is kind of like side note, like face palette, you know? And I love products like that, that are dual purpose. I love face palettes in general that have like face and eye products combined like my Charlotte Tilbury look of love. I have talked that palette to death on this channel, but um, they're just such time savers. All right, so here is that bronzer. I honestly, I kinda am liking it. Next up, I am going to go into Blow Up Doll, which is this color here, this nice like bubblegum pink, and I'm gonna go into that with just my normal blush brush and you will see this fits in there whoo, like perfectly however I don't know if you can see like how much fallout there was on there and way 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 too much pigment so I'm going to tap that off and I may yeah even like dab that on my finger before I go in on my face Now, I love a pink cheek. I think it just brings out, like, health in your face, honestly. So, I'm into the pinks. This is definitely, like, hella, hella pigmented. You don't even need to dip into that product as much as I did. Literally, like, the smallest tap would do you, probably for both of your cheeks. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't think that that looks bad. I maybe would choose a different eye doing this. I think, like, if I did, like, just, like, a neutral, like, brown type of an eye, maybe with, like, a little bit of blue liner, um, I think that that would be really pretty. Whatever is left on my blush brush... I always bring that to the temples up here and I just think it kind of helps bring everything together all right so this is the look so far I'm happy with it 
We are actually doing a ton with this palette. Okay, and then I think for the final step, I'm going to take this Rebirth shade here and I'm going to smudge that out on my lower lash line. So I'm just going to connect this to the top. And I usually like to bring whatever dark shade that I'm using. I will normally bring it down to like where my pupil starts or like the middle of my pupil. And then I'll kind of stop it there. Just because I don't want to close my eye off too much. Then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go into that Guillotine Dream color. And I'm putting that the rest of the way on my eye. Like on that inner portion. Okay. Then I'm going to take a little like pencil brush and I'm going to go into this under oath shade. And I'm going to run this. Okay, guys, sorry I got a call. I did finish up the eye, though. All I did was take a little bit of this under oath shade and just kind of blended out the very, very outer edges of the lower lash line. And I just think it, like, helps to soften everything. That is going to be it for our Beauty Killer 2 palette. I think we were able to do a whole lot with this palette. I used one, two, three four, four out of 10 shades. I think that that's decent, especially given this like color story. I do like that this is a face palette as well as an eyeshadow palette. Let's go ahead and get into the highlighter palette now. So this is, like I said, the Ice Crusher. This is the beautiful packaging that it came in. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Here is the packaging of the Ice Crusher palette. So freaking cute. I love it. Go ahead and take this out again. This retails for $40. You open this up and you have got six of his highlighting powders here. Now he has got a lot of different formulas. This is the Skin Frost Pro Palette. So the Skin Frost is kind of like a more intense type of a highlighter. As you can tell, you do have some colors in here. This would be good for like inner corner work when I'm looking at, you know, the purple and the blue. This would be a gorgeous eyeshadow. And then these are kind of like more highlighting type shades for my skin tone at least. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch of these, but I'm going to run through the names really quick. This is Avalanche, Snow Job, Ice Pick Headache. Pluto, Plow Me, and Asphyxia Frost. All right, these are the first shades. I do have a little bit of a stain from that blush on my hand, but you can see how freaking intense these are. So freaking creamy. Here are our next ones. Whoops, kind of overlapped those. Oh, I love this one right here. After I wiped my hand off, this is still what I'm left with. So that is like how intense these are. All right, I think that the one that I'm gonna try to go into is this one right here, which is Snow Job. It has some green reflex in there, which is not, you know, I'm not always one for like colorful highlighters but I just thought this one looked cool I will say when I tap my brush in here like I do have a ton of fallout in this palette I don't know if you can see that but uh just something to be mindful of and this one you know a lot of these skin frosts do have like actual glitters in them which this one does but I am just gonna go with it all right, sorry about that. I got another call, um, but I'm going to go ahead. Holy crap. I think I got that a little bit too low. I wish I wouldn't have got it that low on my eye, but um, I'm going to put some of this under the brow as well.
and I hope you are picking up on like that green type of reflect I just thought it would look so cool with this look I think that this palette actually goes really well with that high uh the eyeshadow palette All right, on my nose, I used this Ice Pick Headache just because I feel like it's a little bit, you know, brighter. And then I'm also going to use that up above the brow as well. All right, and then I'm going to take a little pencil brush and I'm going to, again, go into that Snow Job shade that's got the green reflect. And I'm gonna pop this right on my inner corner. All right, now that all of my face powders are on, I'm gonna take just a big fluffy brush with nothing on it and I'm gonna kind of just wipe around the perimeters of my face. And I think this just does such a good job of blending everything together. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and complete this look, and then I will be back for the final thoughts. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the final makeup look. What do you think? I like it. I think everything came together pretty nicely. For the mascara today, I put on the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. I have been loving this mascara. I think it is so good. This is one coat. And then for the lips, I put on something like if I don't know what to wear, I grab this and she never does me dirty. This is the Marc Jacobs. This is the screen test. I don't know why I'm telling you that because I don't think they even sell this anymore. I am so irritated about Marc Jacobs Beauty. They have some of my favorite products of all time and it's like, where did they go? But anyway, brows is Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Let's go ahead and go through the thoughts on this collection. First off, love the mirror. I think the mirror is very, very well made. $30 is a little steep, but if you get it in the bundle where you actually get it, I guess for like $25, I don't mind this. It's very comfortable in the hand. I like that you can see your whole face in the mirror. But yeah, I do really, really like this. And like I said, out of everything in the collection, this is the thing that I knew immediately. I was like, yes, I'm getting that. Next up, let's talk about the Beauty Killer 2 palette. I love the packaging of this. I think, I don't know. To me, I love true crime. And things like that. I love horror movies and so to me this collection like really called out to me just because I love the aesthetics of it in general and um which seems weird to say but I do think this is a very interesting color story. Again I like that you can use these as face products as well. You could probably even use this to like set underneath the eyes or um you know I don't know. I just think that this is a very unique palette to my collection and I do really, really like it. I actually love this purple and I love the shades that I used today. This Guillotine Dream and Rebirth. So, so pretty. Um, and again, I'm going to give you just like a close up look of that eye look. I think it is so pretty. Now the Ice Crusher palette. Not the biggest fan of this. I just don't think it's something that I will use a whole ton. Like, do you see how much, like, blue and purple reflect that color has? And I used such a small amount of this shade here. This is the Ice Pick Headache. Maybe if I was doing kind of like a fairy type of look, very, like, pinky purple, I think that that would look pretty. Um, but I do really love this one that I used, the Snow Job. That is the one that is on my cheek with a little bit of that green in there. And then I also do have this under the brow bone. So you can see, again, that green and gold reflect in there. I think it's so pretty. I did not use this one. I kind of wish that I would have. I perhaps would have liked this one a little bit more just because this is more of like a silvery, icy type shade. These two I think would be pretty as inner corners on like colorful looks. This would even be beautiful all over the lid. 
this would be a beautiful shadow if you are my skin tone so i mean i do like this it is just like my least favorite thing out of the stuff that i got i will use it the least but i do like everything i mean i don't know what to say uh jeffree star literally he like rarely ever disappoints me um, the formulas are so good, so easy to work with, it's so pigmented, I feel like everything is so unique, and it just feels special whenever you're using it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see any more looks with this palette, then please let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned because I have a lot, a lot of new stuff um, that I'm doing videos on. The Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale just happened. Uh, the Sephora VIP Rouge. Um, there are a ton of new releases on April 1st. So I've got the Bridgerton 2 collection coming for you. I've got um, the One Size Beauty uh, Clapper blushes or whatever. Uh, the new Dominique Cosmetics palette. I'm trying to think of what else. The Leora and Ofra collection. I think that that's it. There may be a few more things um, in there, but. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.